today we're doing the marshmallow in a vacuum experiment. That's right, guys. So we have some giant marshmallow, got some regular sized marshmallow, got some funny bunnies and chick marshmallows. And here we just have a container. And yeah, so when you put it in here, what's gonna happen is, got the device here and all the air will be sucked out. So then when you have no more air, it creates a vacuum. So before we begin, I wanna ask you guys, what do you think will happen, Ryan, when you put the marshmallow in the container and suck out all the air? I think the marshmallow will be dried up. Be dried up? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Oh, you think so? Maybe you're right. Maybe if there's no air, it'll be all dried up, so it would be smaller or bigger? It'll be squished or expand? Smaller. Smaller? Yeah. Okay, what do you guys think? Okay, so let's test it out here. First, let's start with regular sized marshmallow. You wanna try that? Yeah. So we're gonna t open up. Okay, let's put like three. Okay, and then you'll be fun. You could also make faces on the marshmallow. So here, you do a face and I do a face, okay? Okay, just see what happened to it. Bam. Heh, heh, face. <laughs> okay, while Ryan's finishing up, I'm gonna do mine. What should we draw, guys? You know? I'm not sure how it's gonna be in the vacuum, so maybe under little eyes, little eyes, and then maybe a sad face. Just so I can draw a sad face with one hand. Ah, harder than I thought, guys. There it is. Sad little marshmallow. Boop. It has E on the top. Uh-huh. And it has the face, and then it has L, uh -huh. O, L, and then the face again. Oh, LOL. What is L for? L O L E? L O L E. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, I'm gonna put mine in. Okay, me too. Sorry about my <laughs> scary face. Scary face here. It's not Halloween, mommy, right? So I'm gonna put this on top. Okay, close it up tight. Kay. And this is gonna suck out all the air. So you're gonna put this and press the button. Press the button. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. Does it do it fast? <laughs> Taking time, it's probably hard to tell. Here, put a go over here so I can see. Do you guys see or not see? I'm sucking all the air as we speak. And here was the original marshmallow. Oh, you guys stopped. can't tell. So Ryan, what do you notice? This was the regular marshmallow, and then here is the one in the vacuum. So actually feels like they got bigger. It got bigger? It expanded? Yeah. Yeah, so there it is. It actually got bigger. So here's what's gonna happen when you unsuck the air. Are you ready? Okay, you're gonna unopen this. Okay, if you press this button, all the air will go back. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? It became so much smaller. Yeah, so let's try that again. Okay. okay. All right, so you guys notice here, it's kind of, it's the same size. Okay, all right, go ahead. Vacuuming itself, vacuuming. Oh, it's going. Oh. Do you guys know it got oh, bigger? Yeah, you just put yourself in the same spot. Yeah. Okay, Ryan's gonna press the button again. So three, two, one. Whoa, Whoa. that's smaller again. So yeah. what actually happened with the marshmallow in the vacuum? That it became bigger. Oh, but do you know why it got bigger? Why? If you're sucking out all the air, why does it become bigger? Hmm. <laughs> Any hypothesis any because the, theory the air is gone that the air is gone because the air is gone yeah <laughs> okay guys so here's what's actually going on did you know that there are air bubbles inside the marshmallows that moves around and push out onto the marshmallow there are also air pressure from the atmosphere outside pushing in to the marshmallow so the air from inside the marshmallow pushing out versus the air from the outside pushing in. This battle of the air keeps the marshmallow at the same constant size you see now. However, when you take out all the air outside of the marshmallow away, then the air inside of the marshmallow that's pushing out wins. That means the marshmallow will expand and become bigger. However, 
when you let the air back inside, now the outside air will push back onto the marshmallow again, so it becomes normal sized marshmallow again. Okay, so now we're gonna try with giant sized marshmallow. Giant sized marshmallows. <laughs> okay, here's the cap. Ooh. Okay, so, oh wait, can we take one out? That way we can see the original size, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're actually gonna keep one out. So I guess see the size, see, same size right now. Three, two, one. It's getting, the oh, it's getting bigger. Oh, oh, one of them's gonna reach the top. Oh, even oh reach the top. Oh yeah, there's some space up there. Oh, do you guys see? Look. It's getting so much bigger. Do you see? That's crazy. Look, that's the original jumbo size and that's the super jumbo size. Wait, when we make it bigger, it uh it, one of them ha or two of them is up against the roof, so it's like, ooh, so it's gonna stay like that when we put it back. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. Three, two, one. Small mode! Oh, small mode! Whoa! Whoa! Did you see that? Yeah. That was really cool. Yeah, that's so cool. Ooh. Okay, now bunnies, are you guys ready to be jumbo size? And then smallow sized? <laughs> okay, we're gonna try one big bunny. Or maybe two big bunnies. Maybe two big bunnies? Two big okay. bunnies. Wait, this might. Oh. What will happen? There's no space on top. Yeah, there's no space on top already. That's the fun of the experiment. Get to see okay. what happens. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, can it become bigger? It's getting bigger. Do you guys see it's becoming bigger? Oh yeah, it is, look, they're getting closer together. Oh, oh. bam, the space. they're touching now. I know, they're touching now, they're friends now. Oh. They're like, Hi. we're friends, we, we have no space. Hi. Okay, Ryan, you ready to yeah. let the air back in? You can't see me through this? Now you can! Whoa, you guys see that? Whoa. All right guys, instant replay. Now you see. Now you also see. <laughs> okay, we're gonna put these all together. Oh, oh, oh. Some baby bunnies. Bam. bam. And some baby chicky chicks. Bammy bam. <laughs> oh, bammy bam. And bammy bam. Okay guys, we're gonna put it on. Bam. And then we put no air. Vacuum. Vacuum the air out. Vacuum the air out. Air the vacuum out. Ooh. You guys see it got bigger? Is it getting bigger? Yeah, it's getting a little bit bigger. Here's the original bunny. Ooh. Did it get bigger? Oh yeah, it got a lot bigger. Yeah, it got a lot bigger. Oh yeah. Here's the original chick here. It got a lot bigger too, because you, when you see it expand, do you see the little holes and cracks? Yeah. See, when it's trying to expand, you guys see the little cracks that it makes? Should we put the air back? Yeah, let's put okay. it back. Let's see how small it gets. Whoa. Wait, Ooh. the cracks are all gone. What, really? Yeah. What? Let's see. Oh yeah, that's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. You ready? Okay. I'm gonna do it super still. Okay, here, go ahead. Press it for me. Whoa. Do you see it expand? Look, it's starting to get some cracks. Oh yeah, see the cracks, guys? Okay, undo it whenever you're ready. Okay, right after this one. Okay, and cracks, no cracks. Whoa, that was so cool. Yeah. And here's a recap of why it happened. Row the clip. Did you know that there are air bubbles inside the marshmallows that moves around and push out onto the marshmallow? There are also air pressure from the atmosphere outside pushing in to the marshmallow. 
So the air from inside the marshmallow pushing out versus the air from the outside pushing in. This battle of the air keeps the marshmallow at the same constant size you see now. However, when you take out all the air outside of the marshmallow away, then the air inside of the marshmallow that's pushing out wins. That means the marshmallow will expand and become bigger. However, when you let the air back inside, now the outside air will push back onto the marshmallow again, so it becomes normal size marshmallow again. Thank you for watching my marshmallow in a vacuum experiment. Hey guys, today we're gonna do the dancing popcorn experiment. Woohoo! Okay, so first you need a jar of water, and then you put the popcorn in the water, like so. Wow, the kernels sink. Do you know why? The kernel sinks to the bottom because they are more dense than water. Okay, do you guys see that the popcorn's dancing already or not? Yeah. Yep, popcorn does not dance with just water. Okay. Okay, so MLK is gonna put a food coloring and I'm not going to put a food coloring. So we're gonna test both of them out. That's right. Emma is putting in blue food coloring and Kate is putting in red food coloring. Great choices. Okay, next we're gonna do an agitate. Right, Kate. I see it's moving. You're moving because you're agitating it, yeah. Next step is adding some baking soda. All of it? Yep, all of it. Ooh. Ryan's all adding, it? yeah, Ryan's adding two cups of baking soda, and Kate's adding one. Because mine is bigger. That's right. There we go. It's a button. Next, you gotta agitate. That's right. What's another word for agitate? Mix. mix. That's right. To stir, to mix. Why are you going to be so white? Emma's agitating, everybody's I, agitating. I ain't done yet. Yeah, I made a small whirlpool. Oh, that does look like a whirlpool. It's like my swimming pool. It's like your swimming pool? Yeah, you're Whoa. right. Next up is the vinegar. I will be using two cups, so if you do something like this, use two cups. And if you're doing something like these, then use one. Okay. okay. Might I be a little bit explosion. Go. Explosion, explosion. They're just going up and down for a little bit more. Do you see, Ryan? Do you see how the popcorn is dancing? Yeah, and I can make it dance more by spreading it. <laughs> Emma's too. See it? Can you guys see? see? Emma, do you see how you're oh, going up and down? Look how, many is, look how many is dancing. Ryan, looks like we're tornado. Yeah. Oh, tornado popcorn. And Kate, yours is too. Look, Kate, see it's going up and down. You want to use mine, Emma? Okay, guys, here's how it happens. So when you mix baking soda, which is a base, and vinegar, which is an acid, a chemical reaction takes place. Carbon dioxide bubbles are produced, which are the bubbles that you see lifting the corn to the top. Once the bubble pops, the corn falls back down. And this happens over and over again, so it looks like the corn is dancing. How cool is this? Now we're going to add some baking soda and vinegar for fun. So first we're going to add the vinegar. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't know that would happen. Whoa! Whoa! More, more, more. Bam. More, more. I want more mine. More! Whoa! whoa. Mighty exploded so much at the first one. Look, almost all of them are at the top. Okay, I'm gonna add in some baking soda too. Okay, okay, maybe like that much. And that. I don't that. want to get on my tail. I don't do it. Okay, here. Do you guys all see the bubbles and fizz and carbon dioxide gas see. forming? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Whoa, the ground is bubbling. You guys see all the bubbles? I gave all the bubbles. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. 
Colonel Tornado! Colonel Tornado! Colonel Tornado! Tornado! Is Colonel Tornado real, Yeah! We're seeing it in action right now. Oh, Ryan looks cool. Okay, guys, thank you for watching our dancing popcorn experiment. Hey, guys, today we're going to be doing the raisins in soda experiment. So first, you're obviously going to need some raisins. Next, you need some soda, and then you put it into a cup. I'm going to use a funnel so that it doesn't spill. Okay. Here. And bam. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Okay. Oh. Oh, bam. Do you guys see all the bubbles? That's the carbonated gas. Next, get another container and fill it up with water. Okay, water. Do you guys see any bubbles here? Nope, because the water does not have any gas, but the Sprite does. Next, I'm gonna put some raisins in the Sprite and some raisins in the water. And let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, there's a lot more bubbles now. More raisins, more, more. Whoa, guys, there's so many more bubbles now. Whoa. Now let's try it in water. What happens? Hmm, nothing is happening. Okay, let's put some more. Hmm. Nothing is happening in the water, but there's a lot more bubbles whenever I put it in the Sprite. Wait guys, this raisin is floating back up. It's going up? And then one's going down. That one's staying up. Oh, now it's going up. Oh, now it's going down. Oh, now it's going down. Whoa. Hmm, on the water side, it all stays the same. It always sinks to the bottom. But on this side, it's going up. And then it goes down. And then it goes up. And then it goes down. And then up. And then down. So here's how it happens. When the raisins are dropped into the soda, it sinks to the bottom because the raisins are more dense than the soda. When the soda releases carbon dioxide bubbles, the bubbles will attach around the outside of the raisins. With enough bubbles around the raisins, it helps lift the raisin up to the surface of the water. However, when the bubbles pop, the raisin will sink back down again. This continues over and over until all of the carbon dioxide gas escapes. That's why some of the raisins go up and then down for the soda, but for the water, it stays down the whole time. Wow. Up, down. Up. And down. Okay guys, thank you for watching my raisins experiment. Hey guys, today we're doing the milk and soap experiment and a little bit of food covering. So obviously, you'll need some milk, some soap, and food coloring. Whole milk works best. So you have a plate and then you pour the milk into the plate up to about here. Then put your soap into the container. Next, be creative and put some food coloring all over. I'm trying to write high with blue. H, I. Now, then I put some of this. Like, whoa, that's a lot, I think that's good. Take a cotton swab and dip it in the soap. You know how your mom and dad ask you to wash your hands with soap to get rid of the grease? Guess what happens here? Whoa. Look, it's all clean, guys. 
As you see, the soap breaks the fat in the milk. So that's why the food coloring spreaded everywhere. Okay, that was so cool. Let's try it again, but this time with a different design. A little bit more. There you go. Okay, first put one dot of red in the middle. Maybe blue around it. Wee, 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 wee. And then, oh, I'm gonna make them all like a circle, so green around it. Like, red and around it. Oh, so that was orange. There you go. Okay, now dip it in soap. Okay, let's watch the magic happen. Whoa! That's so cool! Yeah! Whoa, guys, did you see that? That was so cool! Cool. Make everything lighter. Oh. Whoa, that looks so cool, guys. Okay, guys, thank you for watching my milk and soap experiment. Hey, guys, today we're gonna do a DIY making yourself balloon ring. Wait, racing with a balloon? How? When you don't tie it and keep holding it, you can let it go okay. like this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see that? All you need is a string and you tie it into one end of the wall and you take the other end and put straw inside, like this. Ooh, there you go. Can you pull it, Ryan? Okay. A little bit. Thank you. Now take it all the way to the other wall. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. And then you hold it here and tape it. Okay, hold it steady. Okay, then let it go. And tape it like this. One end to the other. Next, my dad will blow up the balloon. All right. Flip it with this. Next, Daddy will tape the straw to the balloon. Sure. Now take the balloons to one of the ends, and then we're gonna test it. Once you unclip, the balloon will go.